Hey everybody, welcome back to video number five of the series called Unhelpful Thinking Styles. And today's unhelpful thinking style is called jumping to conclusions. And this is a favorite of mine because I do it all the time. It's terrible. I used to do this uh, as a kid and it's something that I've worked on so much in the past. And even now, I do find myself doing it and noticing it and then laughing at myself and saying, really, seriously, you're still thinking like this? The great thing is, though, is that you can laugh at yourself and not be totally consumed by how terrible your catastrophizing is. <laughs> All right, so let me explain this one a little bit more. So people who jump to conclusions are those who, instead of letting evidence show, like time will tell what's happening, they like immediately jump to conclusions. So this happened to me the other day. Um, my son uh, didn't get up to go to work on time and I, I wondered what happened. So... Uh, he just didn't show up for work. He, work called to say that he didn't show up. And then that was it. So I tried to call and he wasn't available. And I thought, hmm, interesting. And straight away in my mind, I thought, could have overslept, could have um, been out with friends all night and then never came home. And this one, this this second one, then went on to, oh my goodness, where did he sleep? Oh my goodness, is he safe? Oh my goodness, is he in a hospital, right? And I thought, come on now. <laughs> I'm not interested in going down this road. This is jumping to conclusions. So I waited. I called again, didn't go through. Called again, didn't go through. Waited. And then in about four or five minutes... I get a phone call from a very sleepy boy who said, Mom, you called? And I said, sure, so did your work. He said, oh my goodness, I left my phone on silent and so I didn't, uh, didn't hear my timer and I didn't hear your phone ring and I just opened my eyes now and I realize I'm late. And that's what I mean by jumping to conclusions. So you run a, a scenario which is like your worst nightmare, you let it run and you, you believe yourself, you convince yourself that this is what's happening when really reality is something totally different. But because you don't know what that reality is, you're left without any clues and your mind starts to insert horrible, nice, wonderful, weird and wonderful things and you try to fill in the blanks because the mind works like that. The mind is this amazing problem solver that tries to put pieces together to make a story that makes sense to you. So the interesting thing here is that people who jump to conclusions do two things. They're called mind reading, which means like, I, I know exactly what you're thinking. And, and, and my husband does this with the cats. The cat will say meow and he'll say, I know what you're thinking. You want wet food, don't you? <laughs> and I say to him, you're mind reading. And he says, I know this cat, it speaks my language. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and the second thing is fortune telling, which is predicting the future. And my kids used to do this a lot. So my kids would be like, oh, another day, another year at school. Oh, the teachers are going to hate me. One child does it and the other one doesn't. One, the one that actually doesn't like school versus the one that does. But fortune telling hasn't even met the teacher yet before school started and already fortune telling predicting something that that's going to happen which is once again based on your fear and once again so these unhelpful thinking style create tension and anxiety and stress within us and um you 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 don't feel good so when we have conflict within, it is usually 100% coming from the way we're thinking. So if we are to correct 
our thinking styles and instead of jumping to conclusions, waiting for evidence, wait to meet the teacher, see how it goes. Um, wait until my son calls me back to find out exactly what's happening so that we have all the realistic evidence and we're not just creating weird and wonderful stories that just are usually not true. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you learned something today and recognize an unhelpful thinking style. Do you or someone you know do fortune telling or mind reading? I'd love to know. Leave your comments below, like and share, and I'll see you in my next video.